Okay, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna put in the AOVs, the arbitrary output variables onto our layers. And I'm just gonna go in here to the render settings and we got AOVs. Okay, so what do I need? There is this fancy dancy ID one. You can just double click on them and they add in automatically. This Z, that's your Z depth. Okay. Um, and what else do I have on my crazy list of things? Whoop, let's move this over. Um, so we got AO depth mat. Okay. So the mat is going to be the ID. That's your material pass. Okay. And we're going to put in an AO pass. If I go here to add custom, I can go in and add in my own custom pass. I'll hit create. It says AO. And if you go in here to select AOV, and then I need to uh, get to my attribute editor. Let's try that again. Select AOV. There it is. And uh, then I go hunting down here. La 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 la. And there's custom AOV. There's shader. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to Arnold and I'll go to shader and I'll find ambient occlusion. Okay, and I can play around with the samples to smooth it out if I want to. We'll take a look at this in a second. But uh, that should be hooked up. Okay, done. AOIDZ. Uh, we want to do a wireframe, so we'll add another custom. And I'll call this one Wire. Okay, maybe I'll call it Frame 2. Okay, and I'll hit Create. And again, it creates a little AOV down here. I can go in to select AOV node. And it should really, you know, it should just pop this up automatically, but it doesn't. Um, and so I have to go back there and do it again. Boop. Select AOV. And here in the custom AOV shader, again, you can hit this. Arnold, shader. And this time around, I'm going to find the wireframe. And I know automatically we're going to switch from triangles to polygons. Okay, cool. And you can see it update right in here as you do that, which is nice. Patches. I like patches. Okay, whatever. Um, so that's good. And um, the final one, well, we got two maybe I'll do here. Uh, we got light layers. And just to do light layers, let's go in here and we'll add custom. But this time we got to do something secret. Okay. R G B A underscore. And we'll call this one key underscore light. Okay, and I'll hit create. Okay, so currently I've got one light in the scene. And my light is sitting right over here. I'll select it here, and you can do that. Boop, and it'll pop out the attribute editor. And I'm looking for the AOV light groups on this thing. So you might come down from the top and go scrambling down here to visibility right in here. Now, when you type in the light layer, previously we typed in RGBA. We don't need to do that here. If we do, it screws it up. I just go in here and key light AOV. Okay, and hit enter. And it's connected. Okay, and I've only really got one light in this scene here, so I'm going to throw in a second one. So I'm going to kind of create a fill light. So I'm going to go to lights, and maybe I could create more area lights if I wanted to. Um, I'm just going to create a sky dome light. Okay, and I can adjust it afterwards. Now this sky dome light, uh, we'll just call this, we'll go in here to add custom, and we'll type in RGBA underscore, and we'll say fill underscore light. Okay, create. And then I'll go back and I've got this light here, go into the attribute editor, and it goes down here to AOV light group, and we're gonna call this one Fill underscore a light. Enter. Okay. And now they should be all hooked up. So let's check them out. I'm going to go into my Arnold render. I should probably save after I do all this stuff. Okay, great. And let's make this thing bigger. So right now you're seeing everything render out. One to one. <laughs> and right now we're looking at the beauty pass. You can see this big white area back here. This is my uh, <clears throat> this is my fill light essentially. Okay, the sky dome light. It's kind of filling everything up. 
but let's see if we can see this. what's going on here. So let's go to uh, first. Come on, you bastard. I should have maybe made my render image a bit smaller. Let's go to the AO. So we got the AO. You can see this coming in fairly smooth. Um, I probably want to get rid of some of this noise. And to get rid of some of the noise, I can go into the... Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and stop that. Just because it's faster if I stop it. If I go in here to the AO, and if I zip in... Come on. And if I go in here to select AOV, for the love of God. Okay, I'm just going to close this down because it's getting on my nerves. Okay, so let's go into the attribute editor. And when I am looking at this AO, and I go here, shader, go over here samples maybe let's pull this up to say seven ish okay that's going to smooth out all that noise you can play around with the spread and the fall off and the near and far clipping plane to get a little bit more contrast sometimes i get more excited and i do actually two of these one that has kind of a softer look and one that has a harder look when i combine them back together again later on okay um and then what else do we want to look at AO ID and the fill light and the key light we've got the wireframe and the z okay we'll take a look at those so let's go back here to render and I gotta wait a second while it renders okay and uh, so now we got the AOV coming up and you'll see this one should come out smoother as it slowly finishes off here okay and I'm gonna switch from AOV down to the ID and this ID here this is awesome it's uh it is meant for when you're doing comp it's basically creating multiple al alpha channels for you very quickly okay and if we go to the rgb fill light okay so this is what the skylight is doing for us and um you'll find that uh, this thing's heavy Okay, I always find it's funny if you do a mouse movement and it lags, it feels like it's heavy. Okay, so let's go up here. And this is just going in and showing us what the fill light is doing for us. And so I could take this intensity down. And let's see, our exposure is at zero, but the intensity is sitting at one. So what if I went and I took this to say 0.5? Okay, we should get an immediate result. Yeah, you see it's, it's gone and dropped down in value. Okay, and so you can kind of control this here, or the wonderful thing is, is taking it over into, say, Nuke. And you can control the intensity of this light on your composite, and your life gets better. Okay, um, and samples, I can kind of clean up some of this light if I want to. Uh, I can, I could tint this here. I could also tint that in, say, Nuke as well. If I go into the color... <laughs> come on come on and let's go and give it kind of a sky because it's like a fill light right so let's go and lighten that up okay and again this is something I could do in uh, nuke but anyway let's get out of there um, and then we've got the other fill light and what else do we want to do let's take a look let's check out the wireframe actually let's just go in here for a second doo -doo -doo -doo. And I'm getting a lot of lag. So that's that key light that I have. I have a area light that's doing this for me. Okay, wireframe. There you go. Uh, with the wireframe, I can go in here. Everything's just lagging a little bit. Go and follow this to the wireframe shader. And I can change the line width if I want to. So I get like maybe a thicker line. Depends what I want. Okay, it's just really to kind of show off your geometry more than anything else. Okay, and what else we got here? We got the Z. And this Z, this lets you do a lot of things. This is kind of like the, the cheapest Z to do. Um, you can actually do some other things with your Z depth so that 
it gives it greater detail because right now it's only going black to white but you can kind of make this re repeating black to white pattern going on if I go down I think in this scene here I've noticed that negative uh, 5 is not enough let's go and take a look at it with negative 11 there and damn it this is cool I could do things with this anyway it's a way to help mask out things you can kind of create depth of fields with this too and the wonderful thing is that uh, this will also uh, update automatically if we go in here to your render layers or your AOVs I'm going to call these other things we go into the AOVs and oh not the AOVs I'm talking about the render setup let's go over to the render setup and take a look at what's going on so if I go in here and let's do the background because that'll probably look interesting let's just look and check out what the background doing so I hit the eyeball here Hopefully I don't crash. I have a feeling I'm going to crash. For the love of God, don't crash. I want to, don't want to make this video over again. Come on. I probably should have stopped this. Let's stop it. Okay, I'll just close it. Slap, slap it in the eyeball. And you're going to see I made it on the master layer. So now... When I go in here to Arnold and I go to Render, uh, the master layer transfers to all the layers. So now I've got a Z depth for the background layer. And I've got an AO for the background layer too. Come on. Don't make a liar out of me. Oh, and that's not showing up because this is sitting at negative 11 here in the gamma. Because I was playing with the gamma to show you the Z depth. So if I zero that. Bloop, we got an AO for this one too. So this is going to be really helpful in compositing. So I can push all these things back together again. And I can control some uh, intensity on them. ID. There. Anyway, there we go. And now all I've got to do, let's close everything down. And I can save everything. Actually, I might just go back to the render setup. Always makes me uncomfortable if I save anything without having everything on. Um, then <clears throat> I can uh, go into uh, my rendering section and uh, I should make sure I have this all set up so I have my whole sequence figured out here. So in this case here, 1 to 300 is too much. We're only going to render at one frame on the first frame. Um, if I've got a character in here, I gotta do that, and I'll go into uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. for now just to put these together in comp. I'm gonna go in here to uh, name number extension, and maybe I'll just kind of uh, let's take the end frame and put that as one as well. Okay, and if I go into render and I hit render sequence, bloop. Okay, it's going to render all these out. Oh, 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 just hold on a second. Escape! Escape! I just remembered one thing I forgot to put into this. Uh, is there a way to cancel this? Does that actually work just by hitting escape? I guess so. Okay, so uh, one thing I forgot to do, back over here in the render settings here, AOVs, I need to go into the driver. And... In the driver, default Arnold driver, you can find this in two places. You can either go and right click or you can left click on this and go to select driver. You can also find it in your outliner if you turn off your DAG objects. You can come in here and type in uh, Arnold and you will find it right there. That's another way to select it. Boop. Okay, great. I'm just going to turn that off and put it back. So, two different ways to do the same thing. And I want to put on Merge AOVs. If I don't do this, these AOVs won't be in an EX, a single EXR file. Okay, Your life is easier if these are in single EXR files. So, um, let's go in and I've done that Merge AOVs. And I'm just going to go and hunt for this for a second over here on the side. And what am I in? Uh, I am in my projects. So if I go zipping down to my projects and my projects and I take a look in 
this project here. I'm just going to double check and make sure this has come in so that I, as I render it, you can actually even see. Okay, let's get rid of all this crap. Boop. Yes. Okay, I'll move this back as I'm doing this. Okay. Um, so now I've emptied out this folder. I've noticed that it doesn't always go to my images folder. I'm not sure what the hell that's all about. I had to hunt around and it went into my data folder. So if I go right now to render and I hit render sequence, see what happens. This is it starting to render out the sequence? Rendering, sequence rendering aborted. But I'm getting the spinning wheel of death. Why is it stopping? Okay, it's creating the master layer. Oh, I just realized. Probably I know what's going on. Let's, uh, did it pop up anything? It popped up this window. I'm just going to hit escape a couple of times. Make it stop. Make it stop. Yeah, previously, you know, you see everything kind of locks up. I always find that V-Ray is quite awesome. It has a little stop button on its render, uh, Render buffler. Um, but the thing I forgot to do here. Boop. I forgot to go into my render setup for a moment. And why did that just disappear? Holy cow, holy lag. Um, if I go into my render setup. Bloop. La la la, la la la. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause for a second here while it figures itself out. Okay, so I'm back. The the thing is, I forgot to. Uh, there's my master layer. There is my foreground. If I make sure these render, so these all will render out. Um, and let's try that again. So if I go in and I have this all set up, it only rendered the master layer in this case. Gonna hit the clapboard on that one. So I'm just gonna go back here and I'll hit render, render sequence, and. Let's see if they magically appear. We're at zero. Um, and it goes through and it'll render your first layer. So it's rendering out the master layer first and splitting it all up as it goes. And I don't know how exciting this is going to be to watch. Uh, just me talking at you while a screen here and I wiggle my mouse around. I'll pause for a second while this figures it out. Okay, so I just went in and I checked and I went into the render view and there's something, another thing I forgot to do. Because in my render view, it turns out blue. I got this background because I made the, the skylight blue. If you go into the visibility of the skylight in camera, you put the camera down to zero, it turns that off. Okay, so it doesn't show up. And you'll see that if I go in right now and I went Arnold and I went render, and we got to wait a second again while the light's up the background comes in black and you can see that the light is affecting the buildings we're getting a blue over here in the fill okay so you want that out of there so i'm going to stop this video here come on stop stop okay stop